Hey everybody, this is Tara from My Artsy Mind, and we've got, um, <coughs> excuse me, a bonus <laughs> uh, part, I believe this is part four, um, of the Triple A uh, Makeover Monday junk mail, because while I was cleaning up, I found the envelope <laughs> that I had cut, the one that everything came in that I had cut that I was going to use for the cover. And then we ended up using the collage piece instead, and I completely forgot about it. So, um, yeah, bonus. I'm going to make another little little piece. We can't leave one um, unused. Excuse me. All right, so good morning to everybody. And whew, my nails are a little messy. Okay, so um, I still have uh, a lot of the um, My Porch Prints um, digitals and some of the old design shop digitals. I still have butterflies and moths. So I decided I'm going to use those for this. So we're staying in the same theme as the rest of it. And I did a little prepping this time in advance so that I can hopefully do this all in one video. So this is the paper I chose from My Porch Prints to do the cover. Excuse me, I got the hiccups lately, don't I? All right. And so, I'm just gonna fold this. Is that gonna put it right in the center? Mm, close enough, yep, yep. All right, so I'm gonna get general center here and decide. I'm gonna cut that paper down to fit this. I'm just looking to see in the light. Although, I do have this fancy little thing. Can I see on the other side? So maybe if I open it. Mm, not too much. Okay. Maybe what we'll do is this way. That way I can mark the paper. Yeah. That gets quite a bit, and I'll go just a little bit too big. I'd rather it be a little too big to start than uh, a little too small. Or maybe I will just tear it. How about I do that? There we go. Let's go slightly. I can always trim it down. Oops, that didn't tear very good, did it? Hmm. It's all right. I got some, some strips to play with. I'll clean that up. Hmm, interesting. Let's try doing this one. Oops. Yeah, that's better. Look at my head in here for a second here, guys. Just want to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. That's even now. Okay. Alrighty. So I did sand down that little piece there because it was awful slick. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, and that paper's dark enough to cover everything. So let me just do a tiny bit of trimming here. I don't mind it being too raggedy, to be honest. pretty. So what I have decided is I'm going to use those moths to decorate the front, but I want them to look like they're maybe in a shadow box or framed. And then when I was putting them on the page, even though I'm going to ink around them, I still thought they were going to get too lost back there. So I cut this out. Uh, this is just from some cardstock. I started to ink it to darken it. 
Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this vellum to go behind the moths so that they will stand out a little bit more. But you can still see the image behind it. So, yeah. Something like that. I might even darken... I take I've taken this piece and darkened it up, so I might even do that. I'll take that out. If I darken it just a tad, it won't be so bright, but you can still see through it, and it still makes it so that the butterflies stand out or moths stand out a little more. So, I'm gonna cut a piece that is going to be similar size to this. So I'm gonna mark. Mark there and mark here. Let's get out my cutter so that I can keep my lines straight. And then um, <clears throat> I think what I want to do is I also want to uh, oh do some of that copper kettle on this as well since it is kind of all of a matchy matching set. Um, let's see. First thing I want to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to darken this up, and I'm going to just use my dauber with the vintage photo and just very lightly. Is that even? It's adding a little. I'm going to put it on a piece of white paper. Oop, there we go. So I can see what it looks like. Yeah, it's darkening it a little. And I don't want too much, so I'm going to... Actually, what I'll do is I'll put it on here first. And then I'll go back to this. Yeah, so I want this to be real light. Just don't want it so bright, you know? And it'll help it look a little aged as well, you know? Yeah. Let's see how that works. Yeah, I think that toned it down just enough. Excellent. So since I've already got the inks out, let's go ahead and play with these. So I've got ground espresso as well. So I want to get this a little darker on the background. And then I'll add the vintage photo. <clears throat> um, maybe I will, maybe I won't. I've already added a tiny bit, but I don't think it's necessary. It does warm up the, the color a bit. So I did part of it. Oops. With a little vintage photo. I'll go ahead and do the rest of it. Just a little. I don't even know if it's making much of a difference. <laughs> All right, so with that. Oh, here comes my kitty. I can hear. They're awful whiny today. Um, all right, a quick sip here. Time to get the fingers dirty. All right, so hopefully I'll like this. I don't want to have to redo it. <laughs> but. Oops. Let's see here. Um, let's just start with with gild in the edge. on the edge. <laughs> this stuff coats your finger so much and it doesn't seem to want to work as good. I gotta keep cleaning my finger. Our 
there's so much in a jar and uh, it just dries up so fast. Let's see. All right, so I guess. Oh, let's do the inside too. I guess I should just just go for it. I just don't know if I want to do complete coverage or if I want some of the cardboard to show through. So I'll build it. I will build it. A little bit of a slow process here. I might have to, but I thought you guys might appreciate seeing it. You know, some of this stuff when I first started. Oops, I didn't always uh, know how people did things, so it was nice to be able to see the process sometimes. Oops, I got some in my nail. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna. Just start spreading it, I guess. I can decide how much I want, how much coverage I want as we go. Get the corners definitely a little more. My nails are too long. <laughs> I love uh, having my nails on the longer side, and um, I love having them painted, but boy, it's a, a non-stop job keeping up with it when you're an artist and a crafter, at least some crafts anyways. Ones like this where you like to get dirty. I think, I think I like it just like that. Not quite 100% covered. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So I'm going to put that aside. Because uh, first I need to glue that paper down, don't I? I'm getting a little ahead of myself. All right. Let me grab a, a little wet wipe here. My fingers cleaned up. Excellent. So I don't know if I had a chance to mention it in the other videos because I can't remember which ones actually were successful and which ones were not <laughs> yesterday. Um, because of the five videos I did, only three of them actually uh, filmed and rec or recorded, I guess you could say. And uh, <clears throat> there we go. So um, I been thinking a lot about Halloween. It's really not that far away, and I'd love to get some uh, journals made for that. Um, let's see. Yeah, we should glue. You know what? I'm going to open this up to glue it on. And then I'm going to use my scoreboard, and I think that'll make it so that it bends a little easier. So let's do that. Another sip here of the coffee. And... I do want to do some stitching. All right, we're going to leave this. Let's do it this way. Glue stick. Mm -hmm. Let's be... I don't need to take it right to the edge because I think I'm going to continue to use the uh, sewing machine. So we'll do it this way. Get a little bit around the edges, but not overdoing it. 
and then make sure we get the center filled. Come on. It's a cooler day today, so it's been it's a nice break already. The first thing this morning I could tell. It's like, oh, it's so nice. that into place. Excellent. Nice. And put, whoop, put this aside. I need to leave that sit out. And I'm just going to root real quick. Put this in here. Mark my middle. Maybe I'll do it up the top. I want to make sure I follow that line. Where's my pencil? Oh, you know what? <laughs> and I'm just going to use my marker and add a tiny little dot. Right there. A tiny little dot. Right there. That way I can line it up. Cool. So what this is going to do by scoring it, is it kind of stretches the paper so that the fold will, will uh, uh, bend easier without cracking, without wrinkling. So I'm just going to give it a nice, good, I got three layers there, remember, nice and slow. Let's see how that does. So nice and easy. Oh yeah, that's, that's going to do it all right. Okay, scoreboard does come in handy. I mean, there's other ways you can do it as well, but I have to say I'm thankful for that. <clears throat> it's one of my favorite purchases. Okay, so. Oh, I'm thinking, well, I'm gonna have pockets. I'm gonna need to trim out some of that bulk so that the second page doesn't uh, um, warp things. So, got that. Hmm. I'd like to keep some of that strength. I think what I'm going to do is... I do have some trimming to do, don't I? Hmm. I'll do a little trimming here. Tiny bit of trim in there. Open that up so I can see it better. Yeah. Okay. So what I think I'm gonna do is I really want um 
pockets. Take advantage of the material that we have. So I'm going to fold this basically right in half. And I think that's where I'm going to cut it as well. And you know what? Be lazy and use this because I don't want to. Is that going to fit? Aha, it's not going to fit. All right, no lazy here. All right, I'm going to have to do it by hand. Oh, you know what? I know what I'll do. I know how to get a straight line. I'm just afraid of not getting a very good straight line. So. Close enough. Come on, let's tape against the... go. A little bit of mess there, but that's all right. I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so I am going to main keep this with it, but that's going to get um, glued back down. Or maybe not. You know what? I can just back it. I'll save this. I can just back it with a pretty paper. And then... <clears throat> So I'm gonna save this stuff for my cover off to the side. Where's my other butterfly? There you are, moth. I think they're really moths. So I'm not ready to do that yet. So I'll put that off to the side. Now I'm going to do not, I'm not gonna have a journal inside this. I'm actually just gonna have two envelopes, two envelope, or not envelopes, two pockets, two large pockets that um, open this way and that I'm gonna put in like signatures. And then the two big pockets on the front and the back cover. So these papers I wanted to use to decorate a little. Gosh, it's so pretty. I need to cut these down to size. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go with that. We're gonna try tearing them again. <laughs> See how how that works out. So this is a little heavier paper that I printed on, which is one of the reasons why I think it'll be good for these pockets, because I want them to be sturdy. Let's bring it in a little bit. Actually, I probably just um, I have to go back in and shorten this a little bit this way, because I don't want it to poke out, but we'll see. Let's get this done first. Let's see where we're at. stick out hmm. but it does land right on it well, let's let's leave it as is all right so I um I do want to punch the holes and I think I'll wait to do that until I have it all sewn together and that way everything stays lined up mm -hmm. all right So that's going to be there. These will get decorated. <sighs> hmm. What I was thinking of doing is using um, these different pages and maybe tearing out some of the flowers, like a fussy tear, to decorate a little for something different. Um, 
But let's do the inside cover first. So I'm gonna save these for this because I think I'm gonna use those pages for that. And, oh, excuse me, I have the hiccups. Oh, there's my Charlie. What do you want, kiddo? Oh, I, I hear ya. <laughs> you guys hear her? Oh boy. I know, I hear ya. <laughs> she's insistent and I don't know what she's insisting on. Oh, baby girl. You were in my lap earlier, but she didn't stay long. I think, um, oh, there's two. Will that fit on a pocket? That might. Although, I think. Boy, some of these are so pretty. Mm -hmm. Lots of yellows. And purples and pinks. Hmm. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two there. And two. In the other direction. I think I'll use those two. All right. So you'll see what I'm doing. All right. I am going to. So this is going to be just the uh, flower part. Right. The inside to the outside. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and tear. Let's see. There and oops, I gotta tear a little further, don't I? What do you want, Charlie? Yeah, <laughs> you've had your goodies. Yeah, you've had your breakfast food. What's up, buddy? Really? Oh, really? <laughs> she is getting talkative. What? You want to come up? You can come up if you want. You're going to have to let work around me, though. <laughs> oh, so there's some... Uh, we live in a new place, and this they're indoor-outdoor cats now. We have a little cat door for them. They're still getting used to being indoor-outdoor cats. And uh, <laughs> there are some neighborhood kitties who are used to being able to come over here anytime they wanted. So we've got a nice little... In, um, area patio area that is uh, enclosed by hedges and there's a little pond there with uh, goldfish and um, or you know koi fish and uh, frogs things like that and lots of birds because of the hedgerow and the cats the other cats um, are I don't know they're vying for the the space I guess ooh I don't know which ones I like better hmm I'll stick with these and uh so the cats are all getting used to each other and mine are my kitties are such uh wow oh, scaredy cats or <laughs> i don't know what you want to say mama mama's kitties and uh sometimes they won't go hang out out there unless i'm sitting out there with them and <laughs> oh they will whine and whine until i go have a seat with them and what was it this morning, Mister? He's so funny. He wanted out the sliding glass door, um, which is the opposite side of the house as their cat door. So I let him out, and then he got out there and he starts whining, meow, 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 doing his normal little little squeaks. And I'm like, well, "What do you want?" <laughs> and he just wanted me to walk with him. So we just did a circle around the driveway and the vehicles a few laps, and he followed me. And then he stopped and started eating some grass. He just wanted me to go for a walk with him. <laughs> It is so funny. So funny. Okay. So I like that for there. So those are going to go there. Um, let's see. I don't know if I want it too fancy on the back side. You know, I got a few of these prints from my porch prints that are like a black and white. Or there's not as much color. Let me see if I can find those. 
because those might be pretty to do. Oh, there we go. There's two right there. They might be pretty to do the backs, the other part of the cover. Yeah. Let's do that. So I'll move these aside. And let's figure out how wide I want this. Um, actually, just outside that is going to be nice. And I think I'm going to tear it bigger and then I'll just trim it down because I do want to add some strength to that cover. So that. And I'm going to definitely be putting um, extra masking tape or something on the inside of that. Let's do this. Okay. I know that's going to overlap at the top, and let's see, we won't need all of that. So, um, although, not a big deal, although I could use some of it for collaging. Let's go ahead and take some of it off. There we go. All right. We'll worry about that later. All right, so that's going to go in there. And then most likely a similar size page. Yes. So I'll use this as a template to cut this one up. I'll go ahead and tear off. about right there. And then the same idea, we'll just just kind of guesstimate in an eyeball in here, guys. There we go. And then we'll get, oop. There we go. Those will be the inside. And then these will be the pockets. Pretty. All right, let's get them glued down. Check my time here. I'm going to pause it while I do this part. Okay, so I went ahead and um, I attached those pieces of paper that we, sh that we talked about. And then I also stitched around everything. And there's our pockets. And then I also stitched the two pockets in. Like that. So we got two large pockets here and two large pockets here and here. Okay, <clears throat> so let's do the cover now. So I gotta establish where this is gonna go. This is my, maybe it doesn't, doesn't matter which side's which. <laughs> I can't tell. Okay, that looks good. Oops, let's stay pretty close. I'm just gonna mark my corners here so that I can stick that down. And I am gonna use double-sided tape on this just because I really do think it is the easiest. And I'm not too worried about this being perfect because it's all going to be hidden anyways. 
So I just make sure it's close to the edge. I mean, for the most part, part this um, it kind of disappears anyways. So hopefully it won't show if it peeks out from the frame. Stretch that a little. Okay. Where is the bone folder? That's all right. It'll all go flat once I put it together. All right. I'm trying really hard to do this in one video because I think this will be plenty. So there's my little corners, I'll put one there, line up that one, should automatically line up the others, there we go, nice, yeah, you can't even see those, see that tape really, you really have to look hard, so then these guys are going to go on, should have inked them first, I'm trying to make things happen quicker, <laughs> this should all be like, work I have already done. I think my cat got bored and tired of waiting for me to play with her. <laughs> she always wants to play when I start filming or when I'm working in here. She's so silly. Get this done, get this done. Okay. These guys, I'm going to just double check real quick how this is going to lay out because this is going to go on top and I want to make sure that the wings are peeking out on each side. And just the tips of this one's wings. Just barely. There, now that is where I would like them. Let's see if I can make that happen, huh? <laughs> oh, let's see if I carefully lift the... See, they're already shifting. I think I might need to use a glue that will uh, give me some room to maneuver, huh? should do is let's get them lined back up and you're tucked in there your little wings are peeking out let's get your wings peeking out maybe that's the mark I should make huh where the wings are peeking out but that way I know that one wing needs to go there. Where's my black marker? 
or you know what better yet i'll use my pen and i have a little more control but yeah one's gonna go right there oops one's gonna go right there one's gonna go right there and then that little tip to line you back up Get your butt, get your butt in there. Get your ring lined up. Get that one, that one, yep. That one. Yep. And right there. Excellent. And then this guy, you hold him just like that. Oops. Get it lined back up again. First, let's just make sure he's even there. I'm pretty, pretty confident. I'm going to use the pencil on this though. Is he straight? These little tips of his wings are going to go right here and here. And that'll get covered up. I think I can do that. All right. Whew. Okay. So I think I will use our glitter glue for this. Or do I want to use... No, that takes too long. This is just such a quick... <laughs> oh, the decisions, decisions. No, I'll use this. I just have to hope for the best. Get it in there. I was thinking about that uh, Fabri-Tac, but it takes so long for it to come down. And it's kind of thick right now. Let's just see what I can do with this. Place the tip of his wings first. That tip and that tip. I think that's good. Alright, this might do it. And again, I gotta remind myself it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Life isn't perfect, art shouldn't be perfect either. So cover up that one and cover up that one and straighten it out a little. He's a little crooked anyways, but that's okay. There, come down. Excellent. And then last but not least, this little guy. So if anybody is watching this who has asked me to do tor tutorials, um, I am working my way up to it. I don't know if it'll quite be a tutorial so much as a craft with me and a little bit of instruction. I'll try to be prepared for it. Um, but what I'm going to do is when I work on my Halloween journals, I am going to be including um, the pop-up thing that I did for my... Uh, rock your journal and I'm also going to include something similar to the medicine cabinet with the uh, herb jars that I did in the nature's remedy um, lap book so um, I will be doing them again so you'll have a chance to see how I did it I'll do them on camera I don't know why I'm doing that I'm gonna Ooh, I do. do I, how do I want to do this? Yep, we're going to stick with... Nope, I am going to use this. I'm going to let this sit. I need it to sit. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just hang on to it. I'll hold it with my knees. Oh, that's this. Go down. Because now this is going to go on here. Everything all peeking out. Oh, I love it. That's going to be super cute. 
Okay, so that's gonna go there. So I do wanna add some more of that uh, copper color. I'm gonna just scuff it around here and there. Um, I'll do that now while I'm waiting for this. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, my desk is so messy. So I'm just gonna, oops, if I get some on my fingers. Kind of scuff it here and there in the corners and along the edges. I'm not going to go everywhere, just a touch of it here and there. Like maybe it used to have more and then it kind of got worn off, you know, over the years. That gives it a little bit of a, a scruffy look. Ooh, I put a little too much there, but that's okay. I think I am going to put something to cover the spine a little bit. Yeah, I like that. That works. Clean my finger off. Okay. Let's see, how's that holding up? There we go. I think that's working. Is it actually coming out? <laughs> Not a whole lot. You know what? I think part of the problem is these, I think those bell, those bell bottles, the icing bottles, just aren't keeping it airtight enough. So let's go with this one. I'll test that theory. This is a newer bottle, but it's also, I think, more airtight. And I have used it. So it has been at the same time I used that before. So I think I might just have to start going back to, maybe, let's see if I can get this to, uh, yeah, this is working much better, much better. Maybe I'll have to, uh, I'm not sure what to do about that. We'll figure something out. Oops, I did not do that same thing down here. I mean, the, the icing bottles there are softer, easier to squeeze, but when that uh, liquid gets, uh, the glue gets stiff, it don't matter. <laughs> it just don't matter. I will have a little bit of wiggle room here if I need it. I think I'm good. Got everything peeking out where I want it to peek out. Nice. Let's see, I am recording, right? Yes, I am. Okay, <laughs> just making sure. All righty. Excellent. So let's just do a little bit of decorating. And um, let's see. What do I want to decorate with? And then I'll shove some stuff in the pockets. Hmm. Right, I wanted to do some like fussy tearing to decorate. I think that would be pretty. So let's do the inside. I do love these images. I think those will. Yeah, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tear. Fussy Taryn, but just kind of messily trying to get around. Excellent. I'm gonna up, make it easier to get this part. Yeah. There, go around that.
Hmm. Kind of interesting. I'll go ahead and tear this. Oh, I could also make some homemade labels again. Yeah, I kind of like that one sitting there. So let's ink it real quick. Toss that on there. Over further. I'm not going to glue them down yet. I think I'm going to look for some labels with that. I might be able to make some labels out of that. Hmm. So this one, I like both of those. Let's see what we can do about getting them out. but that's that is okay I want just the one then I don't want to go ahead now yeah just one will be plenty all right so let's see what can I do look at it does have some interesting little things going on here maybe we can make some labels let's see let's try it a different way this time tone on tone, which I don't necessarily mind, although, you know what I do have, um, the base, ah, I have these, it might be interesting to put that on it, let's do this, I'm going to cut this little guy out, off his corners. Ink him up. And then he will be on this background, which I will, yeah, I will do that. So I'm going to cut the other one out and do something similar. The, um, a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I like that too. So, similar thing. Trim off his corners, and obviously, I'm not being very exact here. <laughs> so they're not going to be necessarily even by any means. Up our scraps. So let's do that. Let's make these two labels like this. So first we'll glue them down and then we'll cut them again and then we'll ink them again. So where is the little guy? It's easier for this job. Where is he? There he is. You guys can see everything? Yes. Realize, am I like off the paint? No, not quite. Okay. Oops. All right, can you put that first one down? Put 
There's the first one. And let's get the second guy. And that's right to the edges, but that's all right. I'm gonna have two cool tags here. Do the same thing to our corners. So this definitely gives me ideas for next time I go through my scraps to make my own uh, tags just using what's there if I have this kind of stuff. Or like I did in the last video where I just wrote it in myself. Oh, <laughs> I love these. Yeah, this is cool. This works. That one needs to be cut a little, a little more. There we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. I think I'll do yes or no. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, don't ask me why. All right, so more little scraps. Let's ink around this guy. So, I so said we got our labels now, so I can put that, we'll keep this pretty simple, maybe. Like that, like that. Hmm. There is some interesting. You know, I'm gonna just keep it. I'm gonna keep it simple. Ooh, you know what? Aha, I didn't think of is um stuff we made that we were decorating with. Yeah. I want to include some of this in there. Definitely. Hmm. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do... Excellent. We want one right there. We got that there, that label there. I like it. Or the label coming off. Oops. And we want the label to come off of off of that. What about if I had a piece peeking out? Good idea. I'm just going to randomly place these in here. <laughs> You know, my dragonfly is getting covered a little bit. I don't mind. I'll still leave that there. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's throw some in over here. 
It's funny, you can still see the impression of my address on the back side. <laughs> mm. Kind of like this idea. Put you there. Let's put. Let's put. Let's go ahead and put one here. Maybe it'll peek out a little bit. Yeah. And then. We'll do the opposite and go up here. There. Oh, yeah. And then this will go right there. Or shall I go down there? No, nah, I like it up there. All right, cool. So I think, um, oh, this will close it up. And then um, let's see what my time is. Yeah, I'm at an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and attach these. I'll be back. I'm going to do a quick um, video of the final product, what it started out as, and then what it turned into. So I will see you guys soon. All right, bye.